I think last year we came in and we really had to pull together as a school. We have a great leader in our principal and she has just been working tirelessly to try to help us improve our instruction to really meet the needs of our children. I um, came to Lawrence out of the classroom. I was a fourth and fifth grade teacher and I loved every day that I taught. And I really wanted to help teachers become better teachers. We meet in data teams once or twice a week where that's just grade levels meeting together to discuss specifically student work, looking at that student work, analyzing it. We, for example, had an assessment where we had one child who didn't pass. That is phenomenal. You know, we had 99% whatever. What are we doing for that one child? It's so important to know what level every child is at because you need to meet them right where they are. You need to teach them from what level they're at. You need to know what they knew to get to that level and what's the next step to specifically meet their needs because it doesn't make sense to teach them something beyond their needs. We kept right on top of it and if strategies didn't work we came up with new ones. Um, if they did we applauded and we kind of moved on but it really forced us to take a look at what are we doing and, and how effective is it or how can we reach every single child. We're also pulling those students who are struggling they're getting you know, double the reading group time, um, same with math, small group um, instruction more than once a day. So it really forced us to take a look at breaking down almost individually. Every child really had an individualized education program within the, the um, classroom. I can tell you the child's first last name, I can tell you the level they are at for reading math science mostly and writing. Um, we know everything about them. We know how they're progressing. We know the interventions that we're using. We know how long we've been using those interventions. Are they working? Are they not working? And what do we need to change as adults in order to improve student achievement? We had to lean on each other and help each other through it, but by you know the middle of the year we were running our own. We were facilitating the entire thing. And we're talking about kids every single day. The mini, mini leadership team, which is my reading coach, it my reading coach, um, and my iced the elementary instructional support teacher, and myself meet to discuss students and their progress every day for at least a half hour. I kind of monitored these data team meetings that we had once a week, and um, I saw people starting at one place where they weren't working together so much, and by the end of the year they were meeting once a week on their own to do their plans and submit them together, so a huge amount of growth that way. You look back now and say, it makes so much sense. It just makes so much sense to sit down and this is real data. This is what the kids are, are able to do. So what are we going to do from there? How can we either bump it up a notch or, you know, take it down a notch? And, and then to have the results actually come out as well as they did. And now I have my fifth graders coming back to me saying, Miss Jadoro, guess what? And I'm like, I know, I know.